Hello, Ramzan Murray is here. Today, I'm just telling you something very much important uh, that will help you out to identify the words without uh, knowing the meaning or without consulting the dictionary. In linguistic, there is a, a specific field through which we come to know the meaning of words that is called morphology. Morphology from linguistic point of view and biology and scientific, scientific point of view, mark means shape, logy means history or discourse is called morphology from scientific, scientific point of view. But from linguistic point of view, mark means word. And logic means study or discourse, means study about words is called morphology. In other words, we can say in linguistic, morphology is the study of, study of words, how they are formed and the relationship to other words in the same language. It analyzes the structure of words and the parts of words such as stem, stems, roots, prefixes and suffixes. Means morphology means, morph means word, logic means study. A study about words is called morphology. And morphology, there is a, there is an affixation. A fixation in a fixation there is a prefixation and suffixation prefixation is also the combination of two two words there is a root word given actually the word is as I told you, a fixation, a fixation means fix. Now the hard word is fix. In prefixation and uh, three means before and fix means to put or insert. Su means after, fix means to put or insert. There are hard words through affixation, we come to know through the help of prefixation and suffixation the meaning of words. As I'm just telling you, the word had word faith. Then we are just inserting suffixation faithful, faithful lays, faithfulness lee unfaithful un un is a prefixation and full is a suffixation as I told you that it not only the uh, study of words but it also tells the roots stems and prefixation and suffixation. There are some roots. Through roots we also come to know the meaning of words. Because uh, mostly in reading comprehension or listening comprehension or when we are just going to appear in the competitive explanations we are given mostly comprehension so if we don't know somewhere we are just finding new words their meanings our sense remains opaque means not clear so when we know even the rules through the help of the rules we understand the meaning of words 
that word will be the meaning of that particular word for example like as i told you before prefixation suffixation and roots i'm just giving you some examples about uh, prefixation legal and illegal a legal means not legal illegal ill ill means ill legal right and uh, sincere here the prefixation is insincere is not sincere use use abuse means bad use right normal abnormal ab right a here is a prefixation right there are some rules through rules we even through uh, through the help of rules we also come to know the meaning of the words like uh, revive re means again with to live or make somebody live is called revive for example a hot meal revived me means i was very much hungry when i reached at home a hot meal revived me means restored my life and there's also another word vital vital is taken from the word wit wit means life al means pertaining to means something which is pertaining to life is called vital vitamin wit means life amin means substance a substance which is used for life is called vitamin right likewise like there is a word search research means work which has been done before you have to search it again right and there are some root words as well like salary salary is taken from the latin word sal sal means salt because uh, in the in old times the soldiers used to be given and the reward salt not money right so the business used to be operated conducted run through the salt by giving salt we used to purchase something in in old done you know that in old days right but it is not so right so sal means salt so the word salary is taken from the word sal right means in the reward as a remuneration salt was given salt used to be given to the people who were having their jobs in the very beginning right in the old days right and afterwards there is a word salad 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 is also taken from the word sal sal means salt means anything in which salt is mixed is called salad sal in water sal means salt water means water means water which is uh, salty with means um mixed with salt is called salad so that's why i think this information is very much useful for you it will help you out just i will google it out if you want to get more more information about uh, morphology morphology is very much interesting and very much informative very much useful uh, i have given you much more knowledge and uh, i hope for more videos you will not forget to subscribe like 
and praise Belaka.